Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little question reverse integer. Okay, so let me explain with this example, one, two, three. So we have to reverse this number like three, two, one, right? So how can we reverse this number? So I'll show you two ways to solve this question. So first way is it's nothing actually. So just convert one, two, three to string, one, two, three, so that we can easily reverse uh, this string to like three, two, one. And then again, convert this string to integer, so three, two, one. So now uh, we can get 321 as an integer. So all we have to do is just return this three, two, one. Yeah, so let's write the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, initialize result variable with zero. And uh, actually we have two cases, positive case and a negative case. So if x is less than zero, so this is a negative case, result should be integer. And uh, first of all, we have to convert input integer to string. So string and x. And uh, uh, this is a negative case. So at index zero, we have negative sign, right? So we have to skip index zero. So just we can do like this, one, index one to last. And then reverse uh, this string. So colon colon minus one. And then this is a negative case. So when we convert um, this string to integer again, so we have to uh, add negative sign to integer, right? So we can do like this, just multiply minus one. Easy, right? And then else, so this is a positive case and the result equal integer and string and x. And uh, we just uh, reverse um, this string. So colon colon minus one. Easy, right? And then uh, if, so this is a, a basic uh, requirement, so description set. So that's why you don't have to worry about uh, um, these numbers. So result is greater than two to the power of 31 minus one, or uh, result is less than minus two to the power of 31. So in that case, we should return zero. So this is a, a basic requirement. And then if not the case, return result variable. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. So let me explain the second solution. Okay, so we have to uh, return 321 in this case, right? So my strategy is to use a um, remainder. So we divide 123, divide 10, so that we can get three, right, at first. So this three is um, going to this place. And then after that, so we need a, a two, right? But uh, we can't use uh, like a divide by 10 and uh, get the remainder because uh, we have 123. So if uh, we have 12, so in that case, we will get two, right? Um, 12 divided by 10 equal two, right? So um, next step should be, we divide 123, so by like a 10, and uh, we just get answer. So in this case, uh, in Python, like a slash slash, so so that we can get um, like a 12.3, right? So, and uh, this is integer, so in the end we will get 12, right? So uh, we use this 12 for next iteration. But problem is um, we have to uh, create a 32 in the next loop, right? So now we have um, three. And uh, if we divide 12 by 10, so we next we will get two, right? But uh, how can we create a 32? To solve this problem, so um, every time we multiply by 10 um, for um, this result variable, so that we can get 30, right? And then, so now we get uh, two as a remainder. So all we have to do is just add two to this 30 so that we can get uh, 32, right? So um, in summary, um, when uh, update a result variable, so formula is less multiply 10 plus um, x divide 10. 
So this is a new uh, result number. And then after that, we divide x uh, by 10. So, okay, so this is a little bit messy. So let me start again. So first of all, result is 0. So 0. And uh, 0 multiplied by 10 is 0, right? And uh, so we divide uh, 1, 2, 3, divide 10, and I get the remainder. So that is 3, right? So results should be 3. And then uh, we divide x by 10, and I get the answer. So in the case, x should be 12, right? So next, so result is 3. So 3 multiply uh, 10 and 30. And then, so x is now 12, and uh, divide 10, and I get the remainder. So that is 2, right? So 30 plus 2 should be 32. And then again, uh, we divide 12 by 10, and I get the answer. So that is 1. And then um, now we have 32 as a result, and I multiply 10, so that is 320, right? Plus, so x is now 1, right? So 1 divide 10, and I get a, a remainder, so that is 1, right? So uh, 320 plus 1 should be uh, 321. And then uh, we finish iteration. All we have to do is just return uh, 321 in this case. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. OK, so let's write the code. First of all, uh, we have two cases, positive case and a negative case. And uh, we keep um, like a flag is negative. So first of all, false. And uh, if x is less than 0, so in that case, that is a negative case. So update flag is negative equal true. And uh, we convert negative integer to positive integer so that we can uh, calculate easily. So x uh, multiply equal minus 1. Easy, right? And uh, in the end, if x is negative, we have to return negative number, right? So that's why um, we use this flag. So if this, this flag is true, so in the end, we have to multiply minus 1 again. So you'll see soon. And then create a result variable with 0. And then while x is greater than 0, so we continue. So as I explained earlier, so formula is result equal, uh, oops, result multiply 10 plus x divide 10. And I get the remainder. And then x divide equal 10. And then, so this is a, a, like a requirement, a description set. So if less is greater than 2 to the power of 31 minus 1. So in that case, return 0. So we don't have to care about the negative case here, because uh, definitely, um, so we convert negative integer to positive. So when we reach this if statement, result is definitely a positive integer. And then after that, so return um, result multiply minus 1. If is negative is true. If not the case, just return result variable. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of log n, where n is number of digits in the input integer x. So this is because the number of times the while loop iterates is proportional to the number of digits in x. So that's why. And the space complexity is, I think, uh, O1. We don't use an uh, extra data structure. So that's why. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. So please support me with your actions such as comment and the hitting like button. I'll see you in the next question.